a lady 22 years old and she met a guy on a date for three years and alongside a uh, pregnancy abim uh on a bemano to turn your muscle on beating me a worry but oh now down for one share a brabasi into a cabby bia adding a channel now not or catch it now down for no now down for bemano pass and a childhood friend say oh uh the guy in enough faithful but on a bus you know i was say oh worry no and sana why then wait a minute now for empire but uh the guy no and enough faithful answer we na guy no the guy in whom chat no of and i say chat no of the girl no with girl and the best friend no she got he got angry and I was shaking soon two times before the girl will open her mouth to slap a sudada. But in the three years no more dating, not pregnancy in me, no, until then someone and that it was smooth. Now later, um, he got to know that he has nothing. The lady have nothing to do with the guy, but rather a childhood friend. Ah, on in the cabibia. Now she's asking, sir, should she go ahead with the marriage preparation or she should walk out? Miss Vida, Pacho Otemeka, you know, by on your day. Why would the man slap him? Man, no, actually, uh, or bar now soon because because he feels he saw say, a chat. Yes, he feels say she's cheating on him. Okay, so Nipano, one in Nanyam Dada, hmm, or new be the Hunkum. Granted, say any sense or catch it not down for, but this is somebody that she confides in on the childhood thing. Mm. Why would you slap her without knowing the full story? Mm. So, it take you time to read oh, a chat from your story now. Can it? he saw the chat on the lady's phone? Mm. I don't know, won't take you time to go through the whole story. Now, won't be some lady no question about that chat and some worry yet. Why would you slap a pregnant lady? Because you saw a chat, it is a oh chichi nanka another person ban a sheni yema oh bono na means a nasta ya nasta say why would you slap her? It is no sa oni pa we ah to say what who chat oh who full story you would not even bother to take the whole story a wabo washumun oh but na no na next time be busy ya na wabo washum how many times three times two times. Was slapped you two times because he saw a chat. Hey, now who's out to your big car front to say no be your day? And you would you at What you say? It's you know it's not a person. You you wonder what they can do, and that will make you so afraid. Will you want to live with this person? Somebody who has no control over the temper. Somebody who wouldn't want to see the whole picture before they react. Somebody mm. who has wrong sense of judgment. Mm. Somebody who feels so insecure. Mm. And just like, only person would you want to live with them? When you worry, you know, madam. No, no this is true. You go for any other person. When you worry, no. Don't, don't even go there. Or back us up, a chow. Or he doesn't know what came over him. And no, you're sorry, na blah 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 blah. Sah, na be koso. Washa si ano. Mm. This is a good sign for you to back out. Unyama obeshene, unyawo obeti miya obeshene ba. But ena sometimes wun. Niyama say na yebu ye niguswe na neshe na bo because what do? No, that is wrong. If you love somebody, you wouldn't hit them. If you love somebody, you would take your time. You would talk to them. You trust them. Obana one na nyemunu. Who or seen if ye yen yes, sir, young young worry, young yim before ya be worried. But you, she made the exception for you. Instead of you valuing her, now you are uber begin or punching back. She shouldn't even give him a chance. Great. Unless that genuinely, or be money betting your patcho when the bush in him are promises and the last warning, no. Because I a bad start. I a very bad start. On you more. When you saw on you.
But just a busy of friendliness or part of I mean, that doesn't solve the issue because if or sounds so you be ma, that's what sounds so be part of a busy of friendliness. But me personally, I I would think say either so be true the new massem or police station so on you be or you be my channel. That would me that would be my advice. Now, police station, hold on. Yes, in seven years now, they come. Me, the mobile, the husband, the blue, blue, black. Or they call police station, or they call drops. Drops to head, and they catch and say. Now, no, no, yeah, didn't you know, they're my boy, no, no, no. Or why you know me and some poor moon, who be a man, she will want to assume you with you. Now, who knew who knew about who felt to power, not the ending. Into Uncle Uncle Brenner, dropsy boss. Hmm. It, where, where do you run to? There's no safe haven anywhere. Hmm. It we must be afraid and can't worry. No, we better not. So, my man, no, Papa. They should stand up for you. Parents need nimsa wonyam, and our parents need nimsa wonyam. A hard no no. So, we need nimsa wonyam. Then, be man the boy. Go to them. Or be man the parents need nimsa on the wonyam, and our be man the parents need nimsa on the wonyam. If they know, bring them together. Now, all promise them say it will never happen. In the, in the first and last, I don't know. And then, mm. no, so oh, yeah, you give him some space, give him some time. Now, now, one make sure you are confident in yourself again, make sure you feel safe. And son, as I'll be my chance, I know you be a man. One, no, see, what's that? Tell me, so why you careful? No one, my name, Jaya, a better hope. It is so who say about we may the men suffer all hell will break loose on your beam. It is make sure you bring people to the people that know the relationship that know that when you no poor one, make them sit him down. And you won't go on what's in beam. Make them sit him down, talk to them, make him promise. Who van go police station? Police then go see baby. Yeah, all right, the baby ma, I will see you know, so nice because I'm gonna know what if you. And so you make sure he never does it again. It's a big red flag. It is a bit of remorse. It's a great thing. So or show remorse genuinely. But see, we both know what about about your party. It's serious. I think uh, she 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 need to run more than um, you say boot. Yeah. You run for her life. Run for your life. It's <laughs> It's you know who be born Mister Saint because you saw a chat. It's your mm. Obama wake up and the sense of judgment is wrong. Hmm. All right, me da see ye. Uh, my member, uh, Madam Odilia, so na uh, two minutes. All right, thank ye you very much. Day. I think this is a clear red flag that she need to uh, <laughs> reason and then take a decision because you've not gotten anywhere. The slaps has begun. We are talking about physical abuse, emotional and verbal abuse. This is just a deliberation. You see a message on my phone. It happens. I had a childhood friend that we had vowed that we would stay and get married before we break our virginity. And when it happened that I broke my virginity first, I got so sad and I had to test her a message that, girlfriend, I, I have done it. So this is it unfortunately the guy saw it and he's like who is this person i said yeah this is my, my intimate childhood friend that we've been sharing stuff we know we motivate ourselves that it will help us move forward so i asked and she asked how was it i'm like ah it's 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 not nice it's bad because one you were in haste the timing is not appropriate the place is not conducive and you kind of everything is in a rush but the sex itself has a formula. If you fail to follow the formula as a football will get to a park and begin to play, that's it. You get it wrong and you get tired. So I felt like uh, I should let her know the experience, how it was. You should take her time. And you know, this person got pissed off. Why would you have to share your, you know, your secrecy with her? I said, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. If you think you're pissed off, I didn't even enjoy it. Master, pack yourself. But you know, this is the person that's, Actually, after telling her this, then she was able to make reasons like, okay, I'll have to wait until the right time comes. Fortunately, he is the same person I'm married to. But the no. point is, with the person, you know, abuse has begun right from the scratch. You are pregnant. What of when you are having a baby? We've seen mothers holding their children and their husbands, slapping them and What's beating them as if they are just like the church bell that they are ringing. Mm. Yes, it's unfortunate. 
So if this man should be able to have the guts to slap you with pregnancy, I'm afraid when you are even nursing a baby, he will boot you off. Mm. And this is nothing to just close your eyes that um, love. No, he's having something in his mind. Is either there are some chemicals that is reproducing or is being produced that he's not making good use of it, or it is his habits. Probably it's inborn or inbuilt. He has learned it or something. So I will advise the lady that she should be on guard. So many advice has come. Call this person to order. In fact, if I'm going to go on with you, you should surrender and make a, a, I mean, a, a sign a bond that this thing is not going to happen. But if she can, she should stay back and observe him for a little while before using the kind of pregnancy as a yastic to jump into marriage. Marriage is a long-term contract that you sign backing off there are so many conditions that will bind you. If you are not crazy to exit, in fact, you will sit there and you will die. And physical abuse is one thing that you cannot actually go out of your psychological state because it will affect you emotionally. It will affect you psychologically. It is going to deteriorate your whole system that sometimes you would even feel so shy to go into public because you have slaps and you have different shapes all over your body, cuts, bruises, my What's dear, he's just disfiguring your figure. So please, this is a red flag. You should just look at it, observe, either to go forward with a bond or to back off. There are men, I've seen women, I've worked, uh, when I was working at Kumasi, I was at hospital Kumasi, I met this woman who said, I have, I have um, nine children, but no man got her married. They all just came hit and run, hit and run. The tenth one, that was the tenth birth she was coming to put to birth. The man gave her the, all that she needs, got her married. And this man had no child. She had vowed not to give birth again. But because this man has brought glory to her life, we were, you know, we are inquisitive. We ask, why have you given birth nine times? And this is the tenth one. Why? What are you looking for? You know, your life, your health is at stake. And it's like, madam, this is my glorious baby ever. Mm. This is my glorious baby mm. because I have given birth nine and no man. They just hit and run. They don't even come back. But this one came home to settle and have given me the best that I need. You see, this is the sign. I'm a married woman now. So that is the privilege. That is how, how, how privileged she was. So she had to give birth for the man because the man had no child. Though he treats all the children equally, but she, um, he had no child. You see, even nine, uh, born nine, let me put it that way, born nine are getting people to marry them. How much more you born one? So if there is the need to back off completely and stay, keep your child, keep your pregnancy, the only thing is when we get scared about our parents knowing that we are pregnant, for that matter, we have to do everything in a rush to marry, to cover up. When then that one, you are in trouble. Because there's going to be much challenges coming ahead of you. You wouldn't be able to even voice out that, yeah, this man has begun slapping me. Mm. For somebody to advise you that he's going to be Azuma Nelson in your house. Because you, you are scared you are going to talk about you are pregnant. But if you are not scared talking about it, be bold and put him to order before he begins to manipulate and abuse you further. Thank be you. bold and uh, take a good as opinion. One minute. In your by on your day. But I, I'm still not being able to understand this guy. You see me in a chat with a friend. Eh, na ni ameka ino boni ben ne wum. Who said that? And it's of the truth. Yes. It's of the truth. Boni ben ne wum. Asem no kresu na makano. And pregnancy is not something you can hide forever. Some people see uh, something. I mean, how people, I mean, I mean, uh, invade people's privacy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will just take your phone, then they will type sex. So if you have a chat with anyone, if you are willing to discuss the sex, it just pop up. If you are this person, yeah. maybe I think that that is what happened. And then, like I said, he didn't know the full story. And then he started acting so why 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 are you so quick to judge mm. 
It means that that particular guy himself is problematic. Hmm. They be a make us say, "Who knew Obi Nantia? You haven't bought the person, oh." Don't tell no. What Kofia Koye no wa die kura? She is not yours forever. Hmm. She belongs to a family. In the same sea, one kasa wun na utu misu na wun yeni ope ba. You go back to the family. Hmm. And so if if at the point of say when I make Kofia your front, now when we say me Obi chatting to you, you you start slapping me. O kura ubi edi. You Adel. haven't married me. Uh, this is relationship. Oh. We are not married yet. Mm. Ah, you never know. Don't you know? Open baby, don't you know? Open baby, don't you know? 